And Beth in the last segment taught us how to make these cute little heart scented pillows that you can make for your Valentine or for yourself, whomever. Uh, and now we're going to work on something else. We've got some clipboards. So yes. talk to us about our new craft, our next craft. We're doing these fun clipboards. Um, great project for if you're trying to get organized. Um, you can use them to hang them on the wall and use them to, you know, chore lists, anything mm -hmm. you need to keep organized. Yeah. So what I did was you can buy clipboards, you can buy a lot of places. I like to buy them at craft stores because the clipboards a lot at craft stores come with, they have these screws that you can unscrew and take off this metal part. So what we're doing is basically we're covering an, a clipboard. It's not like you created the base of this. You were buying a clipboard, mm -hmm. just a plain old clipboard, and we're going to make it cute. Yes. Okay. Yes. So tip number one, when you're buying it, you always want this to be removable. Yes. And if not, you just have to cut your paper so it fits around the metal part. Which as we discussed during it's, the break, that, that's pretty difficult to do. Yeah, it's hard to do. So these have a, a little screw and a little bolt on the back that you can take off and then that way you can lay this piece to the side and then too you can also paint this piece. I chose mine to leave them silver mm -hmm. but if, especially if they come off it's a lot easier to paint. So what you do after you take this top part off is you'll, it'll just be the brown MDF particle board mm -hmm. And so mine, I wanted to have pretty edges. So what I did was I painted the edges blue, and then I painted just a little bit along each side blue. And then the, le the middle part, I just, just left unpainted. Okay. Because you're going to decoupage. This is scrapbooking paper. So I all wondered I what this was. Yeah. Okay. So you just find, you can go and you can buy single sheets of scrapbooking paper for the front and back whatever you like. Mm -hmm. You can even add extra trim, like across the middle. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to use, I put a layer of Mod Podge down, and then put the paper on, smooth it out so there's no air bubbles, and then I let that dry for a minute or so. And then I put another layer of Mod Podge on top to seal it, because Mod Podge also acts as a sealant. Did you trace out and cut this perfectly before or after you Mod Podged it onto the board? Before. What I do, okay. these were... Um, most of these are eight and a half by eleven. So if your sheet's already an eight and a half by eleven, you can kind of just lay it on there, and it'll all already be the perfect size. But you just need to round the corner. And but you don't even have to round the corner. I'll give you a, a, a tip for that: is you take either if you have a sanding block, or I take a fingernail file, and go along okay. the edges. It will take off any extra paper. So if you have extra paper over on the side, it's hard to get your scissors lined Almost up right the along the technique you use when you're getting the pie crust off the edge of your pie with the knife and just yes. kind of slowly. Yeah, you, you just, uh, with your, your sanding block or your fingernail file, and it'll take it right off. And so I put a couple layers of Mod Podge on, and then all you have to do is put your clip back Scripper. on. All right, now let me ask you, how much does something like this cost? I know that the scrapping paper, maybe a dollar or two a sheet. What about the actual clipboard? I think the, they're about $2 a piece, not very expensive. So this is a pretty cheap project. Good deal. I really like it. It's great for, I think, tweens or teens, and you can take this to school or, like you said, hang it on your refrigerator with your to-do list or your grocery list. Yeah. Whatever. whatever. And, and it just depends on what type of paper you use to how grown up it looks or how yeah. teenager it looks. So Cute. whatever you want. All right, Beth, thanks as always for being here.